Hey guys, welcome back to Project Bodybuilding. I'm sure we've all heard by now that the Mr. Olympia changed hands this past weekend. Hottie Chupin, your 2022 Mr. Olympia, was unable to defeat Derek Lunsford, and as a result, Derek took home the sand out this weekend. This outcome has set the bodybuilding community ablaze with about half of fans agreeing with the sentiment that Hottie deserved the title this year. You know I had to do a full pose-by-pose -pose comparison video for this one. So let's do it. Let's go pose-by-pose -pose and break down these two guys and try to determine if Hottie did in fact deserve this one. Now, I can't answer the question fully, admittedly. I'm going off of pictures and vids and I was not there in person. So with my analysis and my takes in this video, take them with a grain of salt. We can't extrapolate everything. I'll be the first one to defend picture comparisons though. We can certainly learn a lot. But what I'm mainly trying to do here is show a case for both guys winning, which I do believe each gentleman has. I'm going to use the official top three photos, no filters, and all these guys will be side by side. I will include Samson just briefly in my analysis, just in case someone thinks he should have won. I'm sure there are some fans out there. And he was at least good enough to be compared with Hottie and Derek. Since he's already in the photos, I'll touch on how Samson looked here and there, but keep in mind he was in a pretty clear third spot at every point in the judges' eyes. And the main event anyway is Derek and Hottie. Anyway, we have quite the detailed breakdown to get into. I don't want to waste any time, so let's just go ahead and jump into the comparison and ask ourselves, was Hottie robbed? If you guys like this video, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe for more. We are starting off with quite the battle in the front double. Let's go ahead and talk about Samson and get him out of the way because I do see him in a pretty clear third place. Everyone on the stage has a great silhouette and X-frame, but what Samson doesn't have that the other two guys do is conditioning. He also has the weakest arms. He needs to work on filling them out more, and he has, but still both Hottie and Derek are ahead. It's a great pose for Samson. He can beat a lot of guys on a structure alone, but since these other two guys have good structures too, Samson gets exposed in the arms and conditioning. Now let's talk about the two guys we came to see. Derek's taper is unmatched. His vacuum pulls in his stomach, and his lats are creating an unbelievable V-taper. Now, the X-frame as a whole is a little less impressive. His legs are improved, but I want to see more, specifically the outer sweeps, because he is so wide up top. A good X-frame, though, nonetheless. On the other hand, I think Hottie does just about everything Derek does, but better. For one, look at them side by side. Derek is a short guy. Even Hottie is beating him in overall size easily. It's a noticeable difference. Hottie also has some nice taper. I don't think it's as good as Derek, sure, and Hottie's brand of taper may be considered boxy by some, but you can't deny that's a solid shoulder to waist ratio. I also think Hottie's arms are better. They're harder and more separated than Derek's easily. He's too smooth in a lot of areas up top, which we will come to find out in future poses, but this goes for the arms too. Not only are they softer, but Derek's biceps are the longer type. He has less peak, but he's filling out more of the upper arm real estate between front delt and forearm. Hottie's the opposite with shorter, peakier biceps. Some may prefer Derek's, but with the added hardness, I like Hottie's. That same type of hardness and separation also makes me like Hottie's legs more, but only by a little bit. Overall, I do like Hottie more in this pose. I think he's noticeably bigger structurally than Derek and brings more quality to this pose with an extra level of hardness through the arms and legs. With that said, I still think this is close. I could have gone with Derek for the insane upper body and his arms are quite respectable, but I've put Hottie narrowly ahead, but I do see the arguments for Derek winning this pose. A lot of people said at minimum these two guys were close and that definitely does ring true for this first pose. Going to the front lat spread, this is a pose that Derek is notorious for. It puts one of his major weaknesses on display, that being his soft looking chest and shoulders. This is something we'll hit on a couple of times in this comparison as it really hinders some of the poses for him. Now I don't know if it's so much a conditioning issue as much as it is a muscle maturity issue. To be fair, I think it is a little bit of both, but with him just being a younger guy that has added a lot of muscle in just the past two years, I think a lot of it is just the fact that the muscle has not had time to set. That muscle looks fresh, those details just haven't set in yet. Time will tell if this is truly the case. Maybe he'll get harder, drier, and more detail in this area, but for now, in poses like this, I find it extremely distracting. Other than that, I think he's improved in this pose. I think last year, it was very underwhelming. Last year, the legs weren't as big, so he had less of an X-frame, and the arms overpowered his lats way more last year. I think he's slowly starting to fix the balance and has a lot more taper now. I don't think he is exactly winning, though, because all the other guys are just as good. In fact, I think both guys have more exaggerated tapers. I'll go even further. I don't have Hottie as the winner. I actually have Samson. I think he's got the thickness of the chest and Dells that Derek doesn't and has the great taper of Hottie coupled with better legs, which completes an insane X frame. So, for what is worth, I will go ahead and play Samson in an honorary first place spot for the shot. But what about the other two guys? Well, I gotta go with Hottie. I actually like his taper more. I think it's because his waist looks smaller because he's wider than Derek shoulder to shoulder. He just has more overall shoulder width. So, that makes his waist look smaller, but I actually think the stomach is better than Derek's too because it looks a little more sunken in. Derek's legs overall are bigger than Hottie's, yes, but I don't necessarily think they're better. I don't know if anyone is better. They're 
different. Less sweep and superior detail for Hottie, softer but bigger legs for Derek. Overall, I like Hottie's taper more. I think he cuts a good X frame, which means he's winning those silhouette aspects of the pose, but he also wins those nitty gritty areas of the pose, like that chest and shoulder detail, which I find really distracting on Derek, or really the lack thereof of that detail. Derek has really stepped up his game in the shot, but I still think Hottie is ahead. The side chest is another great pose for all of these guys. All these guys have great attributes. Firstly, Samson makes up a lot of ground from previous poses and call me crazy, but I think he could potentially be first, but I think that goes for everyone. I like the old school upright posing he's doing and he doesn't lose any chest thickness while he hits it this way. His side leg is massive and honestly showcases a fair amount of detail for how smooth he is as a whole. I still want to see him more conditioned though. Moving over to Hadi, the thing I like most about him is the shoulder to shoulder width. In these side poses, we want to see how wide and thick the physique is from this side angle and Hottie is the widest. Samson would probably be the thickest, but Hottie is still the widest if that makes sense. The other great quality that Hottie possesses that neither of the other guys do is the hardness. Derek has it in the side leg, but Hottie has it everywhere. Not to mention Hottie has an extremely deep cut in his side leg and more chest detail than everyone else. In fact, his midsection is the best too for what it's worth. And finally, let's move over to Derek who can also be the winner in a lot of people's eyes. His side leg is honestly the best due to the overall dryness, but that doesn't translate to the upper body yet again. I want to see more chest detail, but the overall mass and thickness from the pecs is here at least. So everyone has good attributes and I do think anyone can win this pose. I think Hottie had the least flaws though. I had a fairly notable flaw to say about both Samson and Derek, but not for Hottie. So I'm putting him in a very narrow first. Next, I do really want to put Samson. I think the shot is amazing for him and really suits my personal taste. But with the added dryness in the side leg and a good set of pecs himself, I think Derek edges Samson out for second. No one is losing in the shot though. Keep that in mind. Moving to the back double biceps, we have a clear winner and a loser, and with that, a clear second place. Samson's back is his weakest body part. It's by far the weakest in this lineup. He's an easy third in this shot. I don't think I have to say too much more. On the other side of the coin, Derek may have the best back in the world right now. It's insane. He's super wide, and with a small waist, he has an insane taper even from the rear. And not just the back, but the pose as a whole for him is great because of his great lower body rounding it out. His glutes have incredibly deep striations, and his hams are more than respectable. He clearly wins the pose, and that puts Hottie in a default second. But I still do want to break this down a little bit more and see how close Hottie is. A major reason fans gave for Derek's win was his back. I saw a ton of comments with that old adage that shows and Olympias are one from the back. And that can be true and has been true at times and others it hasn't. So I think it is important to see how much Hottie loses the back by. I gotta say, even though Derek's back is tremendous, I want to see a little bit more muscle maturity in a couple years and then it's a 10 out of 10. However, Hottie's back is solid. This has never been his strongest post. Sure, he's got some great aspects though. He's got great separation and detail. He's much drier than he was last year. Now he doesn't have the great glute striations that Derek has, but going down to the hams, I think they look almost identical. Derek is maybe a hair dryer. Hottie's thickness is also all right. Again, not as thick as Derek, but Hottie has some good density in that back. Furthermore, Hottie's delts and arms are solid and he has some okay width. Now, yes, I do see the lumps in his shoulders and it is something I want to discuss, but let's do that later and let's stay on topic right now. So is Hottie close in the back? Well, he's not dropping the ball. Derek is clearly ahead. That's because Derek is so good, not because Hottie is bad. Derek's back is like a nine. 9.5 out of 10. It's a great back. Like I said, I just want to see him later into his career with some more muscle maturity. Other than that, with detail, everything is there and in spades. Hottie's back is solid though. Probably a 7.5 to 8 out of 10. A little bit above average since he brought some good detail this year. So going forward, let's keep this in mind. Derek's back is spectacular, but Hottie is not dropping the ball and brings a respectable back double biceps pose. Although Derek solidly won the rear double, the rear lat spread gets a lot closer. This is because the main emphasis is put on width now, and I will say up front, Hottie is the widest guy on stage. He's even wider than Samson. But to be fair, Samson really changed his pose on this one, and I think it was a poor decision. He's leaving width at the table, even though he may have the most because he's so big structurally. But we judge what we can see, and it's pretty underwhelming for Samson, and unfortunately, he gets another clear third place finish. Going back to Hottie, like I said, he's the widest, wider than Derek. Derek has a little bit more detail and better better glutes. For the rest of the lower body, the hams look just about identical again, but I would give Hottie the quad sweep from the rear. So it comes down to how much weight does width pull in a back lat spread for you. With that said, I see the argument for Derek winning because I've made it before. He has a lot of width, but he gives up a little bit of that for superior detail. Although I've made that argument before, now I weight width in the lat spread a lot more. After watching Tyler Mania break down the Texas Pro and actually give criteria that the NPC and IFPB uses to judge, it's clear that the judges do the same. At least that's what Tyler said. 
said. They weigh width more. So I gotta go with Hottie on this one. No matter who you have winning, I think this is close, much closer than the rear double, but Hottie is dwarfing Derek. Sure, it may be because Hottie was stepping the line. They all were at this year's contest. Steve had to tell them to move back multiple times, but looking at the proportions of each gentleman, you can infer that no matter where Hottie stands, he's going to look wider than Derek. Hottie has that insane shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder width and is filling out those lats tremendously to capitalize on that. The side tricep is a pose where I'm not really wowed by anyone. The only guy with the proper thickness, Samson, is way too soft. You can see very little tricep definition, which is a shame because his tricep is double the size of everyone else's. And while his side leg is huge and pretty detailed for how soft he is as a whole, the stomach is another weak point to cancel out that strong point because he has the worst stomach control. But we'll come back to him. I want to go to Hadi because although I'm not blown away with him either, I think he beats Derek and Samson. Hadi wins on quality. He doesn't have the biggest tricep, the thickest pecs, but he brings good elements together with better presentation and polish. His midsection pulls a lot away for him. It's the best out of the lineup and he's bringing great details in the pecs and the side leg too. Now initially I wanted to put Derek in third. I preferred Samson's bigger tricep and the overall thickness that he's bringing despite the condition. But then I changed my mind and then put Derek in second. But honestly after looking at these guys over and over I'm sticking with Samson for second place. I think Derek's stomach is the weakest out of the shot and since he doesn't have the overall polish on the shot like Hottie does I think he falls to Samson's thickness. This is very narrowly mind you. You can flip them around and I definitely wouldn't care as especially for this pose. Like I said, no one wows me in the shot. I'd have Hottie leading the pack, but not by much. I really don't have strong opinions on this one. Next, we have the abs and thighs. This may be controversial, but I have Hottie decisively winning the abs and thighs pose. Yes, even over Derek's improved legs and great vacuum. Some of you more casual fans are probably saying, no way Derek is losing, he's just so aesthetic. Look, the vacuum pose is a great pose to pull off in the open. I'm fine with it in the front double, for example, and other shots where the abs aren't the main focus of the shot. However, this is literally called the abs and thighs pose. We need to see your ab development. This isn't classic where I obviously give the vacuum pose a pass. In the open, we want to see the nitty gritty. We are here to examine a physique head to toe, not admire it like we do in classic. And when you are making your abs disappear, that automatically knocks you down heavily. Just like I give flack for guys turning to the front and the side triceps, for example. A lot of guys do that to hide their weaker tricep and put more emphasis on the quads and abs. It's no different here. Honestly, a little worse in this case, in my opinion. Derek knows he doesn't have great abs. In fact, I thought his stomach looked really off at times during the show. So he opted to hit a vacuum at every point that his abs would have been on display. He hit the ab shot for a split second, and here's what that looked like. Very under underwhelming to say the least. The quads look good, but when you only have one of the two elements we want to see in this pose because the abs are not there, you cannot win this one in my humble opinion. Even taking Derek's abs into account, if you want to go off that snapshot that the photographer was lucky to get, Derek is either bending the rules of the vacuum or very lackluster. This puts Hottie in first by default, but even next to Derek's tremendous vacuum pose, Hottie would still hold his own. Hottie has the best abs in the open division right now. The overall midsection is good too, his stomach is tight, and he's got some good taper thanks to his big lats. But those abs are world class. The obliques are diced, the abs are just the right amount of blocky, and they have good separation between them. Hadi doesn't have the best sweep on the quads, but the detail can make up for a little bit of that. This brings us to Samson. Usually he's doing a twisting shot to show off his obliques, which is also bending the rules a little, but not as bad as pulling a straight up vacuum. But now he's doing a head on abs shot, which is a below average pose for him to begin with, but with his poor conditioning, it gets even worse. The abs could have been a lot more separated, and the same goes for the quads. He has the craziest legs on stage from the front, but he loses a lot of ground because they're too smooth. But the biggest factor in Samson placing third is his stomach. This is something most people don't want to talk about and just straight up aren't talking about because Samson is so aesthetic in other areas. And yeah, I get that, but at times I can't help but notice his stomach is pretty large. I noticed it more in transitions, but you can still see it a little bit in this shot, and because of that, and being too smooth, I have him in third. Derek can't place first because of his vacuum, but points for trying, but he still has enough great elements and I can't appreciate the vacuum pose, at least at face value, so I'll put him in second, but it's pretty clear Hottie steals the show on this one. To wrap this comparison up with the most muscular, we have something a bit anticlimactic. I have a pretty clear 1, 2, and 3 in this pose. Hottie is first. Hottie is close to 40, and that does have a couple of perks, one of them being muscle maturity. All of his years of heavy and hard training is clearly evident in his physique. He has a quality that Derek absolutely does not possess, and Samson only possesses a little bit of. Hottie just looks like he was carved out of granite. He's had more time in the oven than both of those guys. That hardness, the density, the great conditioning which brings out the most detail is what sets him above everyone else. They are all bringing great amounts of muscle, but Hottie brings that old man muscle, which is a good attribute, mind you. And that conditioning helps him reveal all sorts of details. His abs are insane here, the quads are feathered, and the chest is packed with striations. His type of muscularity is un-
matched in this pose, he clearly gets first. Next, I'm sure a lot of people may put Derek. He looks pretty muscular after all, but I just don't like how he's looking. Sure, he has a lot of muscle, but unlike Hottie, the upper body looks soft and doesn't have that density of Hottie or even Samson. The legs are fine, quite good actually. They're at least separated, but that upper body really throws me off like it did in the front last spread. We're at the end of this comparison. We saw him in the back. He had the best glutes in the show. He is shredded, no doubt. But like I said before, this is probably not an issue that is stemming from him being off condition-wise. Maybe a little. Maybe he gets more shredded in the legs and the back before getting shredded in the front. That's just how genetics works for some people. Everyone has an incredibly lean body part and a body part that's a bitch to get fat free. This may be the chest and shoulders for Derek, but I think it's more so a young gun type of thing. Yeah, he's got muscle in the pecs and shoulders, a lot of muscle, but I just think it's too new. He looks fresh too fresh. It's really weird, and it's really distracting. So honestly, I'm putting Samson over him. Once a tall guy fills out their frame, it's done. Samson is almost there. I think he needs a little more in the arms and shoulders, and then add some sharper conditioning, and he can beat just about everyone but the absolute best in this shot. But as of right now, he's filling out his frame about 90% of the way. More importantly though, he towers over Derek and even Hottie. Your eyes are just drawn to him, and unlike Derek, I'm not distracted by some weird element of his physique. I think the stomach could yet again be a little flatter, but with his structure, the sweeping quads, and his great pecs, I think he has more redeeming elements than Derek. So for the last pose, Samson gets a surprise second place. This comparison's outcome was not what I was expecting. I was expecting these guys to be a lot closer, but here's how the scores came out. I took two metrics down for comparing these guys. Firstly, I ranked each guy, including Samson, from first to third in each shot. This is to get a gauge of how they all three stacked up together. The lowest score in this metric wins here because you want the most first and second places out of these poses. And when I add all of them up, you want the score to be closest to eight because that is the perfect score on this scale. In third, we had Samson Dowda with 21 points. In second, we had Derek Lunsford with 16 points, and that leaves Hottie in first with 11 points. I'll touch on this one more in a second, but first let's discuss the other metric I use so we can look at this from multiple angles. The second metric I looked at is just how many poses Derek or Hottie place higher in. Usually if this was just a two-way comparison, we'd have a winner and a loser, but since we had a third guy in this comparison, I just went ahead and counted wins whenever a certain guy placed ahead, even if he wasn't first. For example, if Hottie placed second in a pose and Derek placed third in a pose, even though Hottie didn't outright win, he at least beat Derek and said pose, and that puts a win in his column. And it turns out this metric was even more anticlimactic, because Hottie won 7 out of the 8 poses. So by looking through all of these lenses, here's what I got from this comparison. This is something I said in my Olympia recap video, which I even did before this, but I think I believe this even more now. Derek had high highs, but low lows. That's my main takeaway. Sure, Derek had a great back double. He has the best back in the league right now. He had a great vacuum, which did help him in certain shots. He had the best, most deeply striated glutes. But for those couple of high points in his physique, you can name some pretty big flaws. His abs were pretty bad. His stomach as a whole seemed a little washed out and he technically didn't even have an abs and thigh shot. While the legs were improved, I still think Derek has a noticeable imbalance between the upper and lower body. And the chest and shoulder detail was absolutely non-existent. Those are just a couple of flaws, but honestly, they're pretty major considering Derek was literally crowned the best bodybuilder on earth. Hadi, on the other hand, was a lot more consistent with his physique. In the ranking metric that I used, Hadi didn't take a single last place in a pose. Derek finished last in two poses which backs up the case that Derek had those really low lows and Hottie was more balanced throughout his body. While Hottie didn't have the best glutes or the best back, everything on his physique was developed pretty evenly and to a great level. I can't really name a big flaw on him like I can with Derek, except maybe the lumps in the delts and I want to talk about those. I think these lumps are from years of steroid use. Not synthol, but regardless, the judges say anything that resembles SEO use. And yes, I think they were noticeable from a couple of angles and I do feel that from the judges table with their view, I think they would have been even more noticeable. However, can you really call out Hottie without calling out Derek? There have been tons of photos and posts floating around about how strange Derek's underarms look. Personally, I think because they're so close to his armpits, this is more than likely a yummy combo of fake tan and sweat leaving a little pool under each arm. I can't be for sure. It definitely could be some type of injection, but I doubt it. I really can't tell in Derek's case without actually feeling his underarms because his lumps don't look as 3D and as bulbous as Hottie's. But hey, it looks the part, so maybe the judges picked up on this too. But this goes back to being Hottie's only flaw. Maybe not everything on Hottie is perfect, but Derek had some really poor areas of his physique. Not only did Hottie beat Derek in more poses, but he also beat him on those overarching qualities of the physique. I think as a whole, Hottie was more conditioned, Hottie had more muscle maturity, and overall just better polish. An area I will give to Derek outright is posing. Not presentation as a whole, because I think Hottie is pretty good at doing the mandatories, but for the posing routines, Derek clearly won. Some complaints were made about Hottie's posing routine, or really the lack thereof, because all Hottie did was a glorified guest posing to the same music he did last 
last year, but to the people who make that argument that Derek had better posing, I say fuck off. I love posing. I absolutely think that it should be judged. And yes, it's true that at any point a judge sees you, you are being judged. But for fuck's sake, it's been removed from the scorecard for years now. So while you may be judged while on stage, it's not scored. I wish this wasn't the case. And sure, I do admit Derek's posing routine was miles ahead of whatever Hottie did, but if the judges don't give two shits about it, then neither will I. Okay, that's enough rambling. I've talked about the ranking of all three of these guys, who won the most poses, potential synthol use, and even about the posing. It's time to re-ask ourselves after examining all of the facts, was Hottie robbed? In my opinion, just my own. I'm not saying this is fact. I'm saying Hottie was robbed all day long. I'm not trying to start shit. I'm not trying to tear Derek down. It wasn't his fault. It would be the fault of the judges after all. This is just my honest opinion. Hottie won almost all the poses in my eyes. Even if you want to give some of those close ones to Derek, you have to start jumping through a lot of hoops in order to have him winning the majority of the mandatories. I do want to say that yes, I did see the IFBB released a pose by pose breakdown between Hottie and Derek. I did watch it, but only after I already did 90% of this video. And I got to say anyway, that breakdown was questionable at best and did not sway my opinions I stated in this video. By the way, let me know if you want to see a full reaction video to the IFBB's video. I definitely have plenty of thoughts on whatever that was. Anyway, I think Hottie won by a comfortable margin. I didn't think it was close while it was happening that weekend, and I don't think it was close now. However, here's what I think happened. It was close enough in the judges' eyes that the IFBB decided to seize an opportunity. Derek can speak English. He's from the USA. He's got the family man image about to be going on. Overall, I see him really shaping up to be a very marketable golden boy in the IFBB's eyes. They're a business after all, and they probably saw a great opportunity with Derek. And because Hottie didn't outright slam the door, nor did Derek really fuck this up, they went with Derek. Am I upset about Derek winning? No, that's absolutely ridiculous. On a real level, this barely affects my life outside of making a video on it. But if you asked me if I think Derek deserved the title of 2023 Mr. Olympia, I would say no. And that's going to do it for me in today's video. I'm sure you guys have plenty of opinions on this video and the outcome of the Olympia as a whole, so please leave me a comment with your thoughts. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos just like this one. And with all that said, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.